much is clear, but watch out, Sultan, chances are, for him there's no plot too bizarre. Sultan, is The wheels are turning, all the cunning bombs are churning Every day is a brand new scheme for to be sold in his history I've invented a new tax. A license plate for elephants. All elephant drivers will have to buy one. Ah, I can already see the line stretching for miles and miles. No, how awful. No, it's terrible. What? They've already heard of the new tax? Somebody's leaked the story to the press. No, boss. You got it wrong. There's something real weird going on. Come and see this, boss. There's this man with a gold statue. He's crying his heart out. That's just what I need. Sad guys work wonders for me. The sadder the better. <laughs> What's wrong, sad man? Why are you crying on this statue? It's not a statue. It's my friend. My best friend. His best friend? Let me explain. My pal is a performer. Well, he hosts private parties. Right now, he looks more like a dumb dummy. You see, he's a snake charmer. He sure is a rather charming charmer like this. At the end of a private show, the man who had asked my friend to perform shook hands with him, congratulating him, and... Um, <coughs> presto! He was changed into a golden statue! Is this a uh, solid gold? No! <laughs> Not even! I've asked a goldsmith. He's only gold-plated. Oh, I see. But where does this gilder live? On the Black Mountain! <laughs> but what am I going to do with my dear, worthless friend? Interesting. Very interesting. Uh-oh. I know what's coming next. I'll see if I can sell him off as a scarecrow. A sad fate for a snake charmer. If I can get this gilder guy to touch the sultan, he'll be changed into a statue. Get my drift? Ah, uh, what's the big deal? The statue will change my status. At last, I'll be sultan instead of the sultan. Oh, no, boss. I've heard such scary stories about the Black Mountain. No oh, nonsense. Foolish superstition. On that mountain, there's only a harmless guy who changes people into statues. Besides, I don't need you. I'll go alone. I'm off to rent a camel. Phew. And I'm off to pick flowers. I have a bad feeling about this. That rent a camel guy is such a pain. Then watch out. Drive slowly. I don't want any bumps. Do this. Don't do that. Ah, oh. uh, <laughs> These pansies are so pretty. <laughs> This must be it. Ah, uh, a visitor. You're most welcome to my palace, stranger. I feel so lonesome. How come? Don't you have any friends? I can't have any friends. Look what I've done to all my friends. Amazing! Ever heard of King Midas? The guy with the golden fingertips? He's the one. Well, I have the misfortune of being one of his descendants. My name is Karat. So it really is gold. Well, with the passing of generations, my powers are no longer what they used to be. No kidding. I've lost the Midas touch. Nowadays, I can produce nothing but worthless gold-plated metal. Say, I've got a golden opportunity for you. Why don't you stay and eat with me? You can tell me about it over dinner. Grab a straw. A straw? Y 
You see, it's the only way I can eat. Because if I touch the food with my hands, it becomes gold-plated. My choice of food is somewhat limited. Soup or soup, and sometimes, for a change, soup. There's food for thought here. I hope you're better at gilding than at dining. Oh, all that glitters is not gold. I feel awfully lonesome. I understand your troubles, but I've got a problem of my own. Really? Yes, and I would like you to put your finger on my problem, which is the Sultan. Whoa! This is the very first time somebody's held out a helping hand to me. Trust me. Accept my offer and you'll be eating out of gold plates for the rest of your life. Um, uh, I'm never one to miss a golden opportunity. And when I get to be Sultan instead of the Sultan, I'll appoint you most loved person. You'll have lots of friends. You'll be my Sultanate's golden boy. Okay, let my fingers do the walking. Here, shake this. Sure, it looks funny, but ridicule has never turned anybody into a statue. Well, I wouldn't like you to know the same fate as the last guy I shook hands with. Yeah, uh, come on, let's get moving. My camel is waiting outside. After you. <laughs> Ah, this should do. Now, uh, what else do I need? You're a nice camel, you are. Can't you keep your hands off anything? Oh! Now we've got to walk. <laughs> Woo! We're nearly there. Let's go straight to the Sultan's palace. By my carpets, my flying carpets, beautiful flying carpets, rock bottom prices. Come on, feel this carpet. If you insist. A brand new item. Metal floor covering. The best on the market. Carpets are out. Metal flooring is in. Impress your friends. Yours for a song. Here we are. This is the door of the Sultan's apartments. You just open the door and touch him. Don't say a word. Is that clear? Mm-hmm. Uh, aren't you coming with me? No, I'll stay here and keep a lookout. He's done it! I've done it! What have you done? But I followed your instructions to the letter. I didn't even introduce myself, I swear. But this isn't the Sultan. It's his master of ceremonies. Really? Pleased to meet you, sir. Be quick! I'll hide him behind the curtain! If the Sultan sees him, he'll start wondering what's going on. Done? Not exactly. I'm in dire straits. I touched the curtain and now there's no way I can move it. Don't wait here. I'll hide it in the corner. Oh, uh, what do you have there, dear is no good? Uh, oh, uh, uh, what? Uh, oh. Oh, oh, it'll be perfect here. It's a statue of your master of ceremonies. A striking likeness. I'll bet he was delighted. <laughs> if you wish to have your statue done, I have an amazing sculptor here. Excuse me. Allow me to prepare your bed for a nap. Oh, potpourri of all virtues. No, no, I'll take care of the Sultan's bed. Oh, let this servant do his work, dear is no good. To say No, oh, no! Is this your sculptor? Yeah, well, uh, yes. Well, 
He does work fast. <laughs> my bed should be ready by now. I'm off for my nap. <laughs> Who's that fatso? It's the Sultan, you jerk! Let's hope I'll be ready in time. If that's how things are gonna be, I believe it! Don't leave me! My bark is worse than my bite! I can't stand being insulted! Oh, come on! Let's make up! Uh, you're lucky I have a heart of gold. Ah, there you are, boss. I knew you'd be needing one of these before long. Taxes! More taxes! It never stops! You can say that again! It's the third time this month! How can we make ends meet? And whose fault is it? Oh. Uh. Hey. Well, very, very, very well. Move up! Come on, move it! Hey, boss, I really don't get it. What's the use? All this dough isn't for you. It goes straight into the Sultan's pockets. I know, I know. But if I become Sultan instead of the Sultan, the whole nest egg will be mine! <laughs> you should have booked in advance. We're full up now. What do you mean, book? These here are tax evaders. You don't say. What do you think I have in here packed like sardines? Tax evaders and more tax evaders. What am I gonna do with this bunch? Come back next year. I'm sorry, but you've lost, Marvel of the East. Ooh, I'm done. I need your signature, oh, popery of all virtues. A signature, dear, is no good. The pen holder of our great Sultan, Harun al Placid. I found some new taxes, ever so amusing. Ah, oh, my dear, is no good. The Sultan's pen holder! There's something I would like to do, is no good. Uh, tell me, but sign. Here too. Well, I would like to go for a stroll in town. What for? Here you are, sign this too. I would like to hear my people's opinion of me. As you wish. The Sultan wishes to mingle with people. Prepare the Sultan's outing. The penalty for setting eyes on his royal person is beheading! Hmm. I would like to ask them what they think, but there's nobody to ask. Hey, Psst. take me back to the palace. Did you enjoy your stroll, old beacon of the Orient? It's annoying, dear, is no good. Quite annoying. I get the impression that my strolls do nothing to promote verbal exchanges between myself and my people. And if I can't speak with my subjects, how can I know whether they're happy or not? Well, your highness, I gave it some thought. I would suggest you go out incognito. Incognito? But how does this incognito work? You just dress up as a beggar. Then you go out alone and mingle freely with your people. Oh, my dear is no good. What would I ever do without you? I do so well in following your advice. <laughs> Fetch my tailor. The tailor of his most illustrious greatness. Ah, my dear tailor, what's your shortest deadline for a beggar suit? <laughs>
And when he comes back to the palace in his beggar clothes, I'll order the guards to arrest him. They'll think he's a nutcase. And then I'll be sultan instead of the sultan. Dear is no good. How do I look? Marvelous, oh illustrious greatness. Yes, I think it suits Yes, I think it suits me quite well. This outfit has been soiled and torn by the tailor's most qualified assistants. <clears throat> Bring the royal elephant and my escort. Huh? What for? Well, to go for a spot of incognito in town. No, no! That's not how you go incognito. It isn't? You must go alone to speak to your people. Alone? Alone. But I've never been out alone in my whole life. I don't even know how to cross a street. Use pedestrian crossings. So at least if you're run over by an elephant or a camel, you can be sure that the vehicles and their drivers will be beheaded. Ooh, how awful. I'll have to remember to avoid pedestrian crossings to make sure none of my subjects loses his head. Great! I'm only one little detail away from becoming sultan instead of the sultan. Here we go. Ooh, but if I go, how am I going to find my way back? I'll go back in and ask my dear is no good to be my guide. Did you get that through your thick skull? Oh, it's my dear is no good. If a beggar comes up to the door, you have him immediately arrested by the guards. And no matter what he says, you have him locked up in the palace's deepest dungeon. No matter what he says. Okay, I got it, boss. I'd better go away. My dear is no good is busy. Best not to bother him when he's working. I'll manage to find my way back to the palace on my own. Ooh, there are lots of subjects around here. I'll ask a few questions at random. Uh, dear fellow, would you mind telling me what you think of me? I think you're a fat guy in tatters. I don't have time to waste with fat guys in tatters. Oh, of course. He didn't recognize me. I should have guessed. And uh, what about the Sultan? What do you think of the Sultan, my dear fellow? The Sultan? The Sultan is a tax-thirsty monster. He's a scourge for the people. Huh? The Sultan empties our pockets to fill his belly. He's a thief. A thief and a wretch! Yeah, I, I promise speedy reforms will be introduced. <laughs> You're nuts! How are you, a miserable beggar, going to convince the powerful Sultan? Got to tell is no good to change the laws. He surely doesn't know that the people don't like them. Uh, now let's see. I, I came from that way. Uh, then this way, I, I think. Or was it this way? I'm lost. <laughs> Well, haven't you seen any beggars trying to be admitted into the palace? No, Grand Vizier. What is the Sultan up to? By this time, he should already have arrived and been thrown into the dungeon. I want him secured in a cell. I do laugh a lot. Uh, did you call me, boss? We must find the Sultan. We'll go incognito. Go and find a couple of beggar costumes for us. The coast is clear. We'll find the incognito sultan and bring him back to the palace. One, two, one, two! <sighs> At last I'm home. It wasn't so hard after all. I just asked the way to the palace. Change of the sultan's guards! One, two, one, two, halt! Present! Halt! <sighs> Everybody in the sultanate knows where my palace is. But I don't know the address of any of my subjects. <sighs> That's nice to be back in the old clothes I'm so used to. 
That's more like it. Go and fetch my dear is no good. The Grand Vizier of his illustrious greatness. 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 The Grand Vizier is nowhere to be found. 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 But that's extremely annoying. Never mind. I'll change the laws myself. This is a very urgent matter. Oh, most illustrious greatness. Yes, here I am. What's up? Two beggars want to be admitted into the palace. One of them says he's the Grand Vizier. Lock them up in the palace's deepest dungeon, no matter what they say. Very well. Oh, most illustrious greatness. That's what my dear is no good said, and my dear is no good's orders must be followed to the letter. Let me in! I'm the Grand Vizier. Just wait till I tell him. Lock them up. Let me go! Let me go! I'm telling you, I'm the Grand Vizier. <laughs> and I'm the Queen of Sheba. Come on, stop your antics. To the dungeon with you. Let me go! Let me go! Hey, don't you have any prisoners for me? I thought you were full up. Not anymore. Since the laws have been changed, it's empty in here. Empty? Nearly. Just a couple of beggars. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, want a taste, boss? It could be worse. I'm gonna be Sultan instead of the Sultan. 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 Peace and quiet gives me the creeps. Ah! Yes, I found it! I knew it wouldn't last. 
I am going to be Sultan instead of the Sultan. Read this. And any citizen whatsoever has the right to challenge the Sultan. Yes, that's it. A challenge. A fight against the Sultan. On condition he does so in public and uses the following words. Hey, you! Watermelon! What? The Sultan is obliged to accept the challenge, even if the challenger is an incredibly strong and tough guy. If the Sultan loses, the Grand Vizier will become the Sultan instead. Yeah, but uh, how come nobody's challenged the Sultan up till now? Because of paragraph B. The winner will have his head chopped off in punishment for having dared to humiliate a Sultan. Oop. Luckily, nobody has ever heard of paragraph B. Come on, let's go and fetch a big burly challenger. Big, burly, and dumb. Another dead duck coming up. The Sultanate's marketplace is where the toughest porters hang out. This is a good place to spot our man. Flying curtains, all models Not available bad. on demand. We finance anyone. Not bad at all. Minus Jalaba fashions. Turkish delight ice cream. Even better. The bells are pure snake skin. Much, much better. Why are you carrying that donkey? What else can I do? These parcels have to be delivered, and this donkey will never manage on its own. But the donkey is useless. Why don't you leave him behind and carry only the parcels? Well, you're right. It never occurred to me. Strong and dumb. He's the man for the job. Fine. Well, seeing I don't need my donkey anymore, I might as well sell it. Hold it. I have an offer. You want to buy my donkey? No! I want to give you a unique chance of becoming a champion. You mean me? Yes, you. You'll fight against a fat, flabby guy and become famous. Just drop that dead weight and come with me. Okay. Now to find a suitable spot. There! It's perfect. Okay. You wait here for the Sultan to pass. The Sultan? What for? When he passes, you'll shout out, Hey, you, watermelon! And leave the rest to me. You get my drift? No. Let's go to the palace and see my future predecessor. Oh, beacon of the Orient, dazzling light, marvel of the universe. Hmm? Oh, what is it you want? Dear is no good. How about a little stroll? But I haven't finished my nap yet. Allow me to insist, oh, gem of a thousand lights. Okay, then, if you insist. Thank you, oh splendid spark of happiness. Now, how should I dress? As a beggar, a carpet merchant, a slipper shiner? As a sultan. As a sultan? Ooh, how original. Make way for Harun al Wafid, our great sultan. Make way for Harun al Wafid. Make way for Harun al Wafid, the star of the desert. Make way for Harun al Wafid, our great sultan. Coming, mummy. Hmm? Didn't you hear the herald? He said, make way for Harun el Basid, star of the desert. So the sultan has gone? I'll go and fetch him back. Don't you budge. Make way for Harun el Basid, his most illustrious great man. Hey, you there. Hey, come back and turn around. You turn. You turn. Make way for Harun el Basid. In a second, your cue. Don't miss it. Make way for Harun el Wafi, the beacon of the Orient. Come on, say it, say it. Hey, you. Uh, uh I've forgotten the words. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Uh, well, wait, uh, right. Uh, uh, hey, you, watermelon. Most illustrious greatness. Hey, did you hear that citizen's impulsive shout? Uh, uh, here, what? Dear is no good? Uh, I was sleeping. Oh, this can't be true. I hate processions. I hate royal civil servants. How is an ordinary citizen supposed to make an honest living? Make way for Harun al Wafid, his most illustrious greatness! 
Okay, you turn, you turn. Come on, and this time, open your ears. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, hey, you, uh, uh, hey, you watermelon! You up there! Did you hear the challenge? Ever heard of Law 312? Yes, my dear, is no good. I have. My ancestor, Bragat the Burly, declared it. Escort that man away! Come on, we're going home. You turn! Beacon of the Orient, I have taken care of all the arrangements for the duel. You don't need to worry about a thing. I've sent out invitations to all your friends. What would I do without you, dear is no good? The Sultan is made of jelly. The porter will mash him up. The porter will mash him up. Well, in any case, nobody could say you haven't done your best, boss. Make way for karaoke, great emperor of the rising sun. Charles the Perky, great lord of France. Make way for Sultan Streetcar, our neighbor. Make way for Shrinker, the Sultanist revolting executioner. You're dead on time, Sultan Streetcar. The duel is about to begin. So, if the Sultan loses the duel, you get to be Sultan? Yes! And wait till you hear this. His opponent will be beheaded. Beheaded? Really? What's more, the Sultan's opponent is unaware of this little detail. <laughs> That's a good one. I knew you'd like it. It's my idea. Sultan is no good. I like your ideas. I suggest we sign a cultural agreement between our two countries, just for starters. This evening's match brings together, on my right, the Sultan Harun El Plashid. <laughs> and on my left, the challenger, the Porter. Check that Porter, a real brawny. Oh, it sure is. Oh, the Sultan's no match for that heap of muscles, I tell you. Hey. Please take your seats. The match is about to begin. So, this is the guy who's going to... The bell will mark the beginning of Is No Good the Magnificent's Raid. Fine. No holds barred. At the sound of the bell, kiss each other on the cheek. Hey, a kiss? Yeah. And may the best man win. Or Sultan. And the winner... <laughs> Where's the other guy gone to? Hey! What? My long lost daughter! What? But, but where is he gone to? I am Princess Traffic Jam, Noble Sultan. An evil magician had changed me into a porter. Only a prince's kiss could break the spell. Uh, has anybody seen that big guy? Forgive me for this challenge, oh noble prince. Oh, not to worry. You're forgiven. But tell me, haven't you seen uh, Mr. Ugly? Winner by default, and still our glorious sultan, Harun El Plashid! Yeah! Oh, okay, uh, but tell me, haven't you seen my opponent? He was just here a second ago. My daughter! I found my daughter! I did help in my small way. Boss, the executioner's growing impatient. The, the executioner? The executioner? It's true! You wanted to have my daughter beheaded! Oh, faster, boss, faster! Where is that fool who wanted to behead my daughter? I'm going to chop his head off! Go on, ATM, my faithful storyteller, who I love falling asleep rocked by the sound of your stories. And then, 
In the early hours of the morning, as he opened the gates of his magnificent castle, the good king discovered that his whole kingdom was buried under layers and layers of snow. Layers of what? Of snow, almost sparkling magnificence. It's as white as sugar and as soft as your royal cushion. Hmm, as soft as a cushion. Mm. And as white as sugar. Is that all? What? That snow thing. As white as sugar and as soft as a cushion. Is that all? ATM, you are a storyteller. So tell me something pleasing to my ears. Or I'll make sure you never tell a story again. No, he's cold. Slippery, people break their bones on it. <laughs> or are buried under avalanches and are found until it melts in the spring. Until it melts? Terrific! Hey, my gold! <laughs> Come back in the spring. I do laugh a lot. I believe this winter I'm going to become Sultan instead of the Sultan, as I'm going to make cold meat of my predecessor under a big heap of snow. Ah, oh, that's impossible, boss. What's impossible? Uh, well, uh, we've never had, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, snow uh, in, in the Sultanate, boss. No matter. I'm going to see our weather magician. Don't do that, boss, please. Oh, you know the Sultan has locked the weather magician up to stop him from giving his magic weather forecasts. Oh, boss. Oh, listen. You know he only has to forecast a sunny day and, and it starts pouring. Ah, such a wonderful gift. Good day to you, weatherman. Good day, Grand Vizier. See that? He only had to say good day, and there you are. Amazing. Let's go out where it's dry. I want to speak to you. That won't be necessary. I'll fix it. A strong atmospheric disturbance will soon produce heavy rain on southern parts of the country. Now, what were you saying? Magician, how would you like to work for me? Frankly, no. The Sultan has strictly forbidden me to disrupt the weather. I'll cover you in gold, with all the gold in the... You can't refuse, because... If you refuse, I'll stuff all that gold down your throat! Is that clear? Very clear. Huh. I beg your pardon. I'll fix it. <clears throat> the fog will last all evening, and visibility will be down to zero. Oh, this man is priceless! By the way, that gold, it's still okay. This spot is just perfect. Tall dunes and near the Sultanate. Read this weather forecast, magician. Snow will be conspicuously absent this year from winter resorts as well as from mountain tops. Eh, what is snow? Oh, it looks like caster sugar. It works. It works. Now let's see. Uh, what have I done with those? Oh, here they are. Come on, get moving. I must go and invite the Sultan to the inauguration of the first winter resort in the Sultanate. I'll call it Lake El Placid. Off we go. It's as white as sugar, and as soft as a cushion. But what is it? Are you sure, my dear, is no good? Real snow? Yes, Pearl of Wisdom. Real slippery snow. Enough snow to bury you in. Lots and lots of snow for you. Especially for you. <laughs> for me? All for me? For me all alone? I'm just right. 
heard the dunes are covered with that stuff as white as sugar. Yes, it's not even sugaring in the middle of the desert. But you said it was all mine is no good. <laughs> Come on, we'll move faster on foot. Hey, wait for me is no good. Once we reach the snow, we'll be all alone. First, we make him slide. We wait until he breaks a leg. And finally, we bury him. <laughs> and at long last, I'll be Sultan instead of... Boss, look! No! <laughs> it's rather crowded down there, dear is no good. Come on, we're going to find a quiet spot. It's very kind of you, dear is no good, but I don't know how to use these boards, you know. It's as easy as pie. You just zoom and then bang. Well, okay. First zoom, then bang? See that bump down there? Well, it's going to make me sultan instead of the sultan. Zoom and bang. Oh, I'll never dare. Yes, you will! <laughs> it's kind of you to come with me, dear is no good. Don't look back! <laughs> oh, oh, but it's great fun! Oh, oh, what about another go? Is no good. Yoo-hoo! Another go? Another go! This time, I'm gonna get him to slam into the hotel down there. See the hotel down there? Oh, yes. Well, you... Okay, let's go. No! <laughs> you should have told me you prefer being in front. Yippee! Whee! Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much, my friends. Oh, see, dear is no good. They love it. Well, what about it? Another go? Another go. <laughs> oh, I stopped just in time. That was extremely kind of you, dear is no good. Why, if it hadn't been for you, I, I could have hurt myself. Well, another go? No! No! No more another goes! You sit there and sunbathe! That's what you do in a ski resort! Yes, but, but later, later we'll do another go. Right, dear is no good? Meanwhile, don't you budge from there! I'm pleased to see you're giving up, boss. I'm not giving up. If I can't break him up, I'll bury him. But how? I'm going to start an avalanche, that's how. Help me with this snowball. <laughs> oh, it's getting heavier by the minute, boss. Shut up and push. Oh, Ooh, it sure is a steep ride to the bottom down there. Stop talking through your turban, Adolf. With these, we won't be running any risks. I'm about to bury my predecessor. But look who's here, the marvel of the East. What? It's Weatherman the Magician. Now I'm responsible for advertising the Lake El Placid Winter Resort. Our winter resort is booming! Ooh, what's that? Well, I hope it's not going to rain. Rain? No, it won't rain. The forecast says we're to expect more snowfalls. Weatherman, you'll never change. Back 
to the palace, and I'll make sure you never come out of your apartments. Hey! No! Don't go! Uh, hello? We're here! Uh, Yoo-hoo! You just wait till Is No Good hears of your behavior. He'll be angry. Very, very angry. Wait for us! Hey! Don't leave us here! Yoo-hoo! Come on, boss. Cool down. I brought you here to take your mind off things a bit. I want to be Sultan instead of the Sultan. I want to be Sultan. Let's go the... into this sailor's haunt, boss. It looks like a happening joint. All right, but I want to be Sultan instead of the Sultan. Come on, we're gonna have a great time. Oh, oh I'm so miserable. <laughs> What's wrong with this man? Oh, that sure is bad luck. The most unlucky sailor in the whole Sultanate. Oh? 26 trips, 26 disasters. Each time he loses his ship, his crew, or his passengers. Now that's very, very interesting. Uh, but why is he crying? Because he can't find anybody crazy enough to sail with him. Did you hear that, Adullah? Yes, boss. Let's go before it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> sure is bad luck. I have a passenger for you. A passenger for my ship? Is that true? <laughs> we have yet to agree on a price. Quote yours. 300,000 piastres are best offer. 156 piastres and you've got a deal. Let's shake on it. The disaster 27 is awaiting your passenger in the port. Fine. I'll bring him as soon as possible. Let's go back to the palace. I'm going to be Sultan instead of the Sultan. But it's the summer break now, boss. Can't you wait till the fall to get rid of the Sultan? No, tomorrow morning. But I'm going to have a tough time persuading him to get on that ship. Good day to you, my dear is no good. Good day, oh glittering wisdom of the universe. Would you agree to come for a cruise on the sea? A cruise? With pleasure, dear is no good. When do I leave? Is no good? I asked you something. Well, dear is no good? Oh, uh, uh, please forgive him, O Beacon of the Orient. I believe he's fainted. Uh, the joy was too much for him. Did he really say yes? 
He really did, boss. Here's your passenger, sure is bad luck. Welcome on board the Disaster 28, oh, potpourri of all virtues. 28? I thought you said 27. Well, this morning, I went for a stroll in the harbor and thought I might as well buy number 28 rather than refloat number 27. Aren't you coming, dear is no good? In no sea of benevolence, somebody has to stay behind to look after the Sultanate's affairs. Is everything ready? <clears throat> Passengers of the Disaster 28 now boarding. I'm sure you'll have a great time on this cruise, O Beacon of the Orient. Yes, I feel very placid. Bon voyage! See you soon! Thank you, dear friend. I'll bring back a souvenir. Yes, yes! That's what you think. A rope. The problem is I don't have that many. A rope! Or else... Oh, have you thrown with me? All right, all right. I nearly drowned. The only rope I had was the mooring rope. What? To the port! Go back to the port! Quick! It's impossible. The wind and currents are drawing us and... You have a rudder, don't you? Okay, okay. What's that? Speaking of the rudder, <laughs> this is going to make you laugh. Get this ship to turn round! No need to blow your cool! Turn round! It's an order! Okay, okay, I'll give it a try. But with this wind, it's going to be risky. Are you happy now? We turned round, didn't we? Over there, an island. Come on, let's go. I'm getting soaked in here. I've already been here. It's the Gourmet's Island. How can you tell? All these islands look the same. Yeah, but they don't look like anybody else. Leave this to me. I'll try and deal with them. Do you speak our language? Do you like onions? Well, sure, but... Uh... Fine! Fry the onions! Set up the cooking pots! Do you mind staring with your feet? Not at all. Why is it sure is bad luck in a cooking pot? He's our best supplier. He regularly brings us... Miro! Miro is here! Watch out! He's coming! Gentlemen, you've forgotten something on the stove. Sure is! Come on, free us! Get us out of here! If you wish. But I wonder whether it's really worth it. What next? Who's there? It's Miro, the Cyclops of this mountain. He loves castaways. Roasted. Help! Does he live up there? No, it's his fridge. Uh -oh. ah! Ah! Hey, watch out! Why are we going back? Because of the rock. The rock? Yes, the giant bird. It's the Cyclops' worst enemy. All this is extremely interesting, isn't it? I've had enough of all this nonsense! Shut up! The rock is very fearful! Ah, the Cyclops is leaving us. Yes, like all mountain people, he's scared of water. Look, over there, an island. Sure is bad luck. I hope it's not another one of your crazy islands. You see, dear is no good. What I like best about these cruises are the ports of call. The trips at sea, however, can be rather tiring. Now, let's see. It looks familiar. Oh, no! Yes, this is going to make you laugh. We're on the Island of Sacrifices. Hey, boss! Ah! Turn around. 
Over there. I don't want to know. I don't want to meet them. I don't want to see them. I don't want to. I told you who they are. The sacrifices. They capture all the castaways washed onto the island and offer them to their cruel goddess. I don't believe it. Oh, no. This just can't be true. The people on this island use the most unusual means of transport. Do you think so? Yes. Will they expect a tip? No, no. The tour is all inclusive. Oh, beautiful. It sure is worth the trip. He's the witch doctor. What does he want? He wants us to stand in a circle around him. Oh, who does he think he is? What's this mumbo jumbo? He says you're first. The first for what? Uh, the cruel goddess. The sacrifice. What? <laughs> yeah? Well, you, you're just a deadbeat dummy clown. That's what you are. <laughs> What do you say? You've offended him. The natives are extremely touchy. There you are. Thanks to you, they've decided we're unworthy of the sacrifice. We're being deported. Why did you offend our host, dear is no good? One should always show consideration for the people one meets and views. Yes, even if one doesn't like their traditions. Of course, at times, one must be willing to be sacrificed. Crazy. They're all crazy. The whole bunch. It's the Seashell Island. How intriguing. It's not inhabited, but there's something very special about this island. Is there? Yes, at times there are voices. And if you make the mistake of turning around, hey, you are immediately changed into a shell. This story of yours is very gripping. Don't you think so, dear is no good? Hey, a ship. Quick, wave at it. Hey there. We're here. Yo ho. They've seen us. Oh, yes. This one has lovely colors. I'll take it as a souvenir. I love cruises. All those interesting places, those amazing people, and above all, is no good with right. I've brought back some beautiful souvenirs. Uh, are you okay, boss? Uh, by the way, I wonder what's happened to my dear is no good. between our two great countries. Dead Street on the right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Is anyone in? Hello, I'm the Indian Chief. Yes, yes, we know all about you. It's the tightening of the Lynx rigmarole. Then wipe your feet. The floor's just been polished. Oh, Beacon of the Orient, the Indian Chief is here. Wake up. <laughs> Tell him I'm in a meeting. Come on, come on! New Indian chiefs always bring lovely presents! <sighs> I'm sorry, dear, is no good, but he's come at the wrong moment. I'm busy napping. Do you still have the speech I wrote for you? My master, the king, sends his greetings and a nice present. All these presents look real good. With the aim of strengthening the traditional links between our two great countries. <coughs> hey, your greatness, the speech. Uh, oh, oh, yes. What? The, the speech? Oh, oh, sure, uh, the speech. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Transmit my greetings, and now let's have a look at these presents. Yes, I agree. Let's have a look at the presents. 
Hmm, not bad, this speech. Well, what about the present? Oh, yes, the present. Carter, the present. The present. The present! The present! Here you are! It's a key ring. Oh, that's nice. A key ring? <sighs> if it's all right with you all, I'm going to lie down. But, 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 but what about me? Don't I get a present? Uh, well, I, I, I didn't think of you. What? You could always ask the Sultan to lend you his key ring. But what about the other parcels? Uh, that's my personal luggage, bare necessities. Uh, but on the other hand, I wonder... Yes? I may have a present you'll like. What is it? What is it? Hmm. A wild animal I brought back from one of my numerous trips. A wild animal? Yes, wild and ferocious. Pop by the embassy and I'll hand it over to you. It will contribute to the strengthening of traditional ties between our two great countries. Mm, at last, Sultan instead of the Sultan. Here we are. Come in and don't forget to wipe your feet. Wait here for me. I'll come back with the beast. My most respectful regards, Your Excellency. Your visit, dear Grand Vizier, will contribute to the strengthening of the traditional ties between our two great countries. Right, that's enough fooling around. Where's the wild beast? This way. Please follow me. I'd better warn you, it's highly dangerous. Here we are. There it is. What? It's in there? Naturally. It's far too dangerous to be left free. Watch out! Don't move any closer. But it's a fly. A titsy fly. And what's so dangerous about your titsy fly? A sting of my titsy fly. And off you go to Betty Bye's. Betty Bye's? Yes. The titsy fly's sting sends you to sleep forever and ever. It's called the sleeping sickness, and there's no cure. No cure? Interesting. Ever so interesting. Uh, are you sure there weren't any flies on that Indian chief? I'm going to get this nice little insect to sting the sultan. And Betty buys forever and ever. And at last, I'll be sultan instead of the sultan. That's what he thinks. How am I going to get this fly to sting the Sultan? What are you up to? Oh, I'm making your bed, boss. I don't have the slightest intention of going to bed. Uh, as you're going to be stung, in the end, I thought I might as well. I'm sick and tired of your pessimism. It's your fault if none of my plans succeed. But, 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 boss! You're fired! Dismissed! Evicted! Erased! Rejected. But, 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 you know, I, I'm so sweet, I couldn't even hurt a fly, boss. Enough's enough. It's all up to you now, my pet. Go and see the Sultan and give him a little kiss from me. <laughs> hey, my fly! Hey! Shh, 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 shh. You're going to wake the Sultan. He was already asleep when I arrived to play his afternoon lullaby. Shh, shh, shh. Guard! Dozing on the job, eh? You're going to pay dearly for this. Are you listening to me? Come on! Stand up! Have you ever seen me fall asleep? Ouch! <laughs> my fly! Have you seen my... They've seen it. Hey, Adulov! Help me find my fly! I am no longer in your services, sir. Find your fly on your own. I won't be flying to your assistance anymore. I'm sorry, Adulov. You have inflicted a mortal wound on my person. You've offended me. My self-esteem and my dignity have suffered atrociously. And that, sir, is something I cannot accept under any circumstances whatsoever. 
Not even if I offer you an increase of three dinars per year? I saw the fly head for the kitchen, boss. It has most certainly passed through here. But where's the fly now? Over there, boss! The fly's on the loaf of bread! We'll take it by surprise. You move in from the other side. Hold on, boss. Hey! Best to spray ourselves with vinegar. I've heard flies dislike vinegar. At my command, we launch our assault. Now! Oh! Over there! Quick! The plan was perfect, but there must have been a fly in the ointment somewhere. Up there, boss! It's on the ceiling! <laughs> I'll climb on your shoulder, right enough, and I'll put it back in its cage. I've got you! Almost! It's flying into the next room! Quick, let's follow it! Faster, right enough, Faster! Yes, boss. Are you hurt, boss? Hurt? You must be kidding. Slamming into walls is my pet hobby. It's your fault, right enough. The fly shoots away as soon as it smells the vinegar you poured on us. But, but, boss... Listen! Flies don't like vinegar, but they sure love sugar. Look, Adulaf, there is a sugar bowl on the table. Let's hide behind this curtain. A good hunter is a patient hunter. You said it, boss. Yummy, yummy! And there it is! Let's go! Hold it, boss. Someone's just come in. Hey! That dashes our plans. Ah, uh -huh. quite the contrary, boss. You see, the servant is introducing our fly into the Sultan's apartments. It's our first chance so far. Your greatness. Yo ho! Your greatness. Your herbal tea. <laughs> Ooh, there's a fly in the bowl. Oh, please forgive me, Your Greatness. I'll throw it away immediately. No, 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 don't. Oh, poor little thing. It's so cute. He, he's taking the fly out of the tea. We may still stand the chance. He may still get stung. Watch out, the servant is coming. I'm dishonored. There was a fly in the bowl of herbal tea the Sultan usually takes to help him sleep. The what? The Sultan's Herbal Tea! <laughs> Rock up high, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. There we are. It's gone to sleep. Oh, it's so cute when it's sleeping. <laughs> Poor boss. He thinks he's a fly. <laughs> oh, I'm going to sting the sultan. <laughs> Let me go and sting him. <laughs> well, doctor, is it serious? Not to worry. It's nothing a good sleep therapy won't cure. Oh, you bats me die. Oh, you bats me die. Zagulia and Yeshne, you watch him. 
Milkshakes. No, no milk for me. Strawberry squash straight. I need something strong. Boss, come on. Keep a hold on yourself. Howdy, sailors! <laughs> Give me a drink, innkeeper. I'm parched. Hold your horses. I'm coming. <laughs> Who's that guy? That guy? That's Symbol the Sailor. He has an endless supply of yarns. He's got a great imagination. Imagination, my eye! I've survived spine-chilling, blood-curdling adventures. Yes, sir, I have. I even was devoured by scary cannibals. You can take my word, sir. Luckily, I give him the slip before the end of the meal. Devoured by cannibals? It's true. I'm not pulling your leg. <laughs> <laughs> and mark my words, noble stranger, I know of an island not far from here, home to two scary giants. No way! Party brave sailors were shipwrecked near that island. Nobody ever set eyes on them again. And do you know what happened to those 30 sailors? Party meals. Unbelievable! Did you hear that, Adula? Just out of curiosity, uh, tell me, where is this island? Well, it's not for sale, but uh, I happen to have a detailed map handy. Not that I would know what to do with it, but uh, how much would you sell it for? I really don't have any money sense, but uh, my price is 112,327 dinars. Oh, I would never bargain, but uh, my last offer is 47 and a half dinars. Well, you don't really deserve it, but... Uh, I accept. <laughs> now that we've got this, we'll have no trouble in getting rid of the Sultan. This time we're resorting to drastic means. Giants! <laughs> Boss, believe me, we're heading straight for a giant failure. We'll abandon the Sultan and the island with those two giants. And I'll become Sultan instead of the Sultan. <laughs> Oh, marvel of the universe! <sighs> what is it, dear is no good? I beg you, I implore you, I pray you to accept to go fishing with me tomorrow morning. Oh, please, I... Fishing? Oh, with pleasure, dear is no good. I love fishing. You, you accept? You know you'll have to skip your nap. Yahoo! He said yes! He said yes! <laughs> Yahoo! But we all know he's gonna blow it. We'll rent a boat, but he's no good. Why don't we sail in my royal felucca? I've got 50 sailors, musicians, cooks. No, we're sailing alone, just the three of us. I'll do laugh a lot and I will steer the ship. And you will fish. Uh, all right. And who's going to row? 
Just guess. Straight on, Adulaf a lot. I don't like being treated like a pawn. Then we should soon be in sight of the giant's island. There it is! Symbol was right! The giant island! Not a moment too soon, either. Now we've got to pretend we're sinking. We're, we're sinking. sinking! We're sinking! We're sinking! We're sinking! We're sinking! We're sinking! We're sinking! Sultans and children first! Shh! Dear, is no good. You're scaring the fish. How long is it going to take for the idea to sink into your thick skull? The ship is going under the water! Ooh. Luckily, we're just off an island. Dive into the sea and swim! Ah, we're sinking! We're sinking! We're sinking! We're sinking! Oh, cut it out, Adula! He dove into the sea. No need to go on shouting. We're going home! But, boss, we really are sinking! <laughs> you should never haggle over the price of a boat, boss. Hasn't anybody ever told you what a big mouth you've got? I've caught our supper. We might as well eat while we're waiting for the rescue party. Shh! Keep your voice down! Well... We'll build a campfire to grill the fish and to signal our presence. No! Don't! As you wish, dear is no good. Let's find a hiding place, fast! But why, dear, is no good? Shh! Shut up and walk on the tip of your toes! Ah, uh, have you taken your socks off by any chance, boss? Uh, boss, do you see what I see? <laughs> but where are they off to? They've been behaving oddly since the shipwreck. Hey! Jimmy! Come and see what I found! Good day to you, sir. Ooh, this is a delightful surprise. I thought this was a deserted island. The Sultan has been caught, but not us. We have made it. You're being slightly rash there, boss. We're still on the giant's island. Not for long. We'll build a boat and leave the island. And don't dare discuss your new sultan's orders. We're going to cut this tree down and hollow it out. But all I've got is a dessert knife. No problem. It's a fruit tree. Get down to work. I'll hold on to the tree. Yoo-hoo! It's no good! What? You, you, you managed to escape? Oh, I've been looking for you absolutely everywhere, my dear is no good. I want to introduce you to two <gasps> friends who would like to make your acquaintance. Come on, shake hands. I'm sure you're going to be great friends. Let me go! Let go! Come on, I love to do something! Ah, uh, you know, boss, right now my hands are tied. This is my friend, Is No Good, and Adu Lafalot, his faithful servant. Let me go! Look at me! I'm just a repulsive, ugly, and skinny little guy! Keep the Sultan instead! He's so handsome, so nice and fat! You'll love eating him! <laughs> oh, 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 you're such a flatterer! Stop that now! <laughs> Stop it! Eat? Eat what? Eat who? Well, I mean, um, us. I, I mean, the Sultan, he's fatter. <laughs> Did you hear that, Jimmy? They think we're going to eat them. <laughs> we're vegetarians. <laughs> we're on a vegetable soup diet. Mom said it'll make us grow. But, but what did you do with the 30 sailors who were shipwrecked on this island? He's right, Jimmy. We should have enough now. Let me count. One, two... <laughs> You're tickling me. Three! With these three here, we've got 33. That's one too many. Uh, what do we do with the extra one? 
We could play heads or tails. Yeah. Meeny miny mo, catch a monkey by his toe. Which one? If he hollers, let him go. This one. And uh, what about me? We're gonna send you back home. What? Send him home? That's not fair! Jimmy, bring me your toy boat. The one you play in the bathroom. There you are. Climb in. We'll blow the sail, and you'll be back home in a week. No! Oh, I want to go home, too! I want to go home! Ready? Yes. Uh, see you later, dear is no good. Have a good time. <laughs> Have a good time. Have a good time. I'm not here to play. But we are. <laughs> Jimmy and I love games. Yes, and now, at last, we'll be able to play our favorite game. Let me go! Let me go! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Well, well, a couple of newcomers. That's perfect timing. Yeah, we can start the game at last. Remember what I said, boss. Didn't I say you would blow it again? Don't you dare say another word or I'll strangle you. Shut up, Bishop. Chess requires concentration. Your turn, Jimmy. Aha! <laughs> you made a mistake there, Jimmy boy. I'm gonna take your bishop with my knight. Uh, I wanna be king instead of a king! It can't be all that hard. I must get hold of an idea. Who's there? Ah, uh, it's me, boss. Am I interrupting? Yes, you are. I'm trying to think. To think? What about? Oh, just guess. Oh, yeah, I, I know. How to become Sultan instead of the Sultan. That's it. Well done, Adulaf. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a lie! That's pure nonsense! Slander! What's going on down there? I can't think properly with all this racket going on! Hey, you down there! Put a sock in it! Poisonous rumors! Wicked stories! It's preposterous! Nobody listens to me! Just wait till I give that guard a piece of my mind! And it isn't even true! What is all this commotion about? Well, speak up! This guy insinuated that my friends in high places pulled strings to get me my job. Somebody pulled strings? Yes, well, true enough, the captain of the guards is my cousin. I gave him a few coins, admittedly, but that's not the reason. That's not how I got my job. Ask my uncle, the chief of staff. What are you doing here? Who are you, and where do you come from? My name is Telltale. I'm a scandal monger. A scandal monger? Follow me! What about me? You're not going to believe that idle gossip! Throw this guard in prison! Throw him in prison? Why? What has my brother-in-law done? He's your brother-in-law? Well, yes, he is. Come on, don't worry. It won't be all that bad in prison. Your nephew, the jailer, will be happy to see you. <laughs> now, tell me how you found out that that guard out there had pulled strings to get this job. I've got a magic gift. I can smell scandals. I sniff them, and I expose them, and I thought I could be of use to you. Me? A scandal is a very effective way of getting rid of heads of state. Well, that's what you say. Don't you remember? The wealthy Emir Rudolph who lived in a splendid palace made of gold, silver, and platinum? <laughs> After I made public his flirtations with another Arab, his living conditions grew markedly less comfortable. <laughs> and Ali Capone, who had accepted bribes from a flying carpet merchant? 
when I denounced the scandal, he had to leave his palace in a hurry on one of those flying cars. Fortunately, the merchant's carpets were very shoddy. Okay, okay, but what's all that got to do with me? <laughs> Wouldn't you, by any chance, like to get rid of your head of state and become head of state instead of the head of state? It uh, hadn't occurred to me before, but now that you mention it, why not? 300,000 dinars if I succeed. 290,000 and 25 years if you fail. 20 years. Okay. Fine. Now, I've got to sniff the Sultan. This way. Naturally, if I don't smell anything, our contract is void. Not the tiniest trace of a scandal. I should have guessed. That guy is clean. Well, see ya, and no hard feelings. Hey, hold it. You should be able to invent a scandal with your experience in the field. Invent a scandal? But that's outrageous. A scandal or the dungeon? It's up to you. Uh, you are very convincing. So you agree? I agree, but I'm not so sure it's gonna work. Now, how shall we proceed? Well, I'm all for the traditional technique. Do you have a gossip column in the local rag here? The local rag! Get your local rag here! Ask for the local rag! The local rag, please. A revelation liable to shake the throne! The Sultan has guarded his shameful secret for years! The romance which ended in trauma. The infant was sold into slavery. Ooh, the Sultan confesses the child was a burden. I sold him for 12 dinars. 12 dinars? A shameful price. He whose destiny was to be the wealthy heir to the throne lives in misery. <laughs> Very good. It's the talk of the town. Your Sultan will be forced to resign. Yes, and at last I'll be Sultan instead of the Sultan. That'll be 290,000 dinars and not a word about our dishonest scheme. <clears throat> I have a reputation to think of. All right, go of me! I want to see the Sultan! What's all this racket about? I want to see the Sultan! Why do you want to see the Sultan? Because he's my dad! What? My dad! Yes, sir, I'm the Sultan's forsaken child! And I've come to take up my rightful place on the throne at his side! Imposter! I am the Sultan's forsaken child! Are you kidding? I'm the Sultan's forsaken child! I'm gonna have Dad's guards throw you out! Stop that racket! You're going to wake Dad! I'm the heiress to the throne! The Sultan's my dad! No, he's mine! Not on your life! He's mine! Where's Dad? I, I gotta see him right away! It's urgent! Adulapala? You too? What do you mean by you too? I am the one and only Sultan's forsaken child. You are the forsaken child? You? Yeah, sure I am. I, I never revealed the secret of my childhood to anybody. Well, not even to you. What's all this shouting about? Who dares disturb my royal nap? What on earth? Oh, marvel of the universe. Why are they shouting like that, my dear is no good? Well, uh, this is going to make you laugh. 
They all claim to be forsaken children. <laughs> Their imagination is boundless. What? Forsaken children in my sultanate? Why, it's a scandal. Simply outrageous. I cannot put up with a scandal in my sultanate. I'll adopt all of them. <laughs> and now, tell the children to keep quiet while Dad is busy with his nap. Such a good heart. A good heart and a strong sense of responsibility. All these airs are real cute, and there's a new one every day. Before, the Sultan didn't have any airs. And now, thanks to you, I am the 327th in line of succession. I'm worried that all this is going to end up ruining my reputation. Your reputation? No! Oh, you're a charlatan. That's what you are. But I, I really do have a magic gift. I don't believe in your alleged magic gift. Guards! To prison! But, uh, but I, 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 I... Ah, uh, he doesn't believe in my magic gift. <laughs> I'll show him one of these days. The prison scandal out in the open! The Grand Vizier is no good is implicated in the affair! Is no good forsaken children. Oh, the Grand Vizier threw them in prison to avoid discovery. The children's existence revealed by another prison inmate. In you go. Ah, here's Dad. But, 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 well, Daddy, happy to have found us. Do you believe in my gift now? Telltale! Come on now! Uh, let's not let our temper run away! You wouldn't harm your daddy, would you? Uh, would you? <laughs> Why not? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 stop that, my boy! What's going on in there? Oh, it's, it's nothing to do with us. Strictly family business. Stop this nonsense. No, no, and no. 
I won't and I won't. Oh, come on now. You gotta eat something. Ooh, look at the nice mutton fat we have. Mmm, delicious. No. No, it's no use. Oh, not eating won't help. And then you never know. It may even go well. No, it won't. The Sultan is sure to be re-elected by an overwhelming majority, as usual. This year may turn out to be your lucky year. Lucky? Have you forgotten what happened last time? The Patriots, in favor of our good Sultan, <laughs> remaining on the throne, may raise their hands. <laughs> and will the wretched worm, <laughs> in favor of the Sultan's downfall, dare raise his gooey tentacle? <laughs> Oh, by 499 votes against a miserable bark, the Sultan's mandate is renewed for 10 years. That's what happened last time. Still, boss, there's always a chance of you obtaining a majority this time. Yes, and pigs might fly. The Sultan will always be Sultan, and I still won't be Sultan instead of the Sultan. Oh, if only the right would vote like the left and vice versa. It would be wonderful. That would change the right into the left, and the left into the right, and the up into the down, and the backward into the forward. Oh no! All these worries are so bad for my beauty! Oh my! Look at that face! It's awful! Watch your tongue! <laughs> you should look at your own face! <laughs> who, who, who are you? I am inside out! A genie who dwells in mirrors. You... you're a real genie? Yes, I am. A rather kindly genie, too. Well, if you've come to tell me I'm the most handsome guy in the Sultanate, you can go right back where you came from. I know that tale backwards. I came when I heard you wish that the right be changed into the left, and vice versa. Did you get that? In the world behind the mirror, everything is reversed. Everything is upside down. The right is on the left. Here's my chance to become Sultan! And can I enter your world? Easy as pie! Just break the mirror on your head! Like this? Yes! In order to help our viewers understand this episode unfolding behind the mirror, we have decided to broadcast the dubbed version with dialogue spoken forwards. <laughs> goodbye. Back come behind the mirror. You call that a reception? In our world, goodbye means hello. And bad come, welcome. That's simple. Where are you taking me? To the Sultanate behind the mirror where you'll find the upside-down world of your dream. And you know the way? Easy! We just keep to the left. This is my town, all right. I recognize the main square. I want to get to the palace as soon as possible. <gasps> Watch out! You bumbling fool! Can't you look before crossing? I didn't know they had switched the traffic round in this street. It hasn't been switched round. I told you that here, everything is reversed. Oh, I can't make head or tail of this. What's this? As a result of the overwhelming vote renewing his mandate, the Sultan invites the whole Sultanate to this evening's celebrations. No, nothing has changed. Hey, inside out. Do you hear that? Do you hear what they're saying? Yes, it's the opposition. Such good people. Not at all. Their violence threatens to upset the National Assembly's vote. Such good people. Aha. Uh -huh. Luckily, the police are on the watch. Hmm. Charge the demonstrators! But they're 
to harm those poor people. Stop! Stop! What is he up to? Oh! I said stop! But, no buts. These young people are entitled to freedom of expression. Go back to your barracks. And I don't want to see a single cop in the streets before the assembly's vote. But the opposition is going to put the town to fire and sword. That's what I'm hoping. You said yourself that the violence will influence the assembly's vote. As long as the vote goes against the Sultan. Your strategy is a mystery to me. Wonderful music! Listen! Not now, I'm busy! Hooray for the Grand Vizier! <laughs> Ooh, bang, bang. <laughs> That's for the something! Ah, such good people! Such good people! You must listen to me! You must! Not now! Let's hurry to the assembly! I don't want to miss the vote! Watch out! What? You've forgotten again! The traffic moves in the opposite direction here! Dear representatives! It is not for me to advise you, but I beg you to consider the violent riots taking place in our town. The consequence of the police's Baffling apathy. Those who may be fool enough to vote for the Sultan in the face of this impending threat, lift your arms. And those who don't particularly feel like confronting the mob's wrath and choose to vote against the Sultan, raise your arm. By 499 votes against one, the Sultan's mandate is not renewed! <laughs> and we've saved our skins, guys! Therefore, according to our law, the Grand Vizier is appointed Sultan instead of the Sultan. Yahoo! Is no good. Why, it's the Sultan! Yes, and believe me, I'm ever so sorry. Yes, and I'm just as sorry for you, old fella. For, for me? <laughs> Especially as you're soon going to be in big trouble. Trouble? Uh, listen, you should find somewhere to hide, dear is no good. Hide? But you're the former Sultan. No, he isn't. I've been trying to tell you that all along. Behind the mirror, everything is reversed. You were the Sultan, and he was the Grand Vizier. What? <laughs> such vile people! Such vile people! Again. A carnival! Come on! They won't catch us in there! The Mirror's Palace! I'm saved! What are you going to do? I'm going to pass through one of these mirrors and go back to my world! Wait! This mirror will never take you back to your world! I don't have any choice! See ya! But it's a distorting mirror! Ah, 
Oh, here you are at last, boss. Where had you gone to? Sports. Nothing about becoming Sultan instead of the Sultan. What am I gonna do? Oh, this is interesting. Adula! Adula! Did you call me, boss? I see here that a charm merchant has just arrived from central India. He set up shop downtown. His name is Makael Rooney. Let's go. Oh, boss. Don't get started again, please. Think of how your previous experiments ended. There it is! Remember all our past troubles, boss. Are you the charmer? Uh, yes, I am. Do come in. I need a reliable charm to help me get rid of somebody. Do you have an infallible charm? Charm? Uh, I've enough and to spare. You have, huh? Oh, hold on. Uh, now, what's the formula? Let's see. I'll have to have a look in my book. Now, what have I done with my book of magic spells? This is unbelievable. Is it the thick book you're holding under your arm? Which arm? Oh, oh yes, that's it. Here, here we are. It's a charm which makes people lose their memory. The formula dates back to time immemorial. That is... If I remember correctly, a charm causing loss of memory? With this charm, the Sultan will forget he's the Sultan, and I'll become Sultan instead of the Sultan! What? Don't get carried away. You know it never worked. I want that charm! Uh, now let's see, where have I put that vial? Oh, here it is. I'd left it in my pocket. And it works? Not only does it work, it's infallible. I've tested it on Indian elephants. Total amnesia. The victim only needs to sniff the charm. Smell this. Uh, but beware of the fumes. I've always been very careful. Boss, forget it. Remember... <laughs> Smell it or I'll stuff you into the vial. All right, boss, but something tells me I'm making a mistake. <laughs> Well? Well what, sir? It works! Now nothing is going to stop me from becoming Sultan instead of the Sultan! How much do you want for this? Uh, I beg your pardon? Your charm. Which charm? <laughs> the one I've just paid for. You haven't given me my change yet. Oh? <laughs> I beg your pardon. How much do I owe you? I'll take this and we'll call it even. By the way, who am I? I, I mean... Who are you, sir? Now, I've got to find a way of getting the Sultan to sniff this charm. Adulaf! Oh, I don't know why I bother, but... Well, come on already! I don't have all day! I, I beg your pardon? pardon? As I was saying, I've got to get the Sultan to smell the charm so I can be Sultan instead of the Sultan. Any ideas? Why, sir? Are you plotting against our Sultan? Smell this! <laughs> flowers! The Sultan loves smelling flowers! <laughs> and then I had a sudden inspiration and added some sugar. And that's how that day, at the tender age of three, I invented the sugar waffle. An inventor at three years old. How wonderful. Yoo-hoo! It's me, a beacon of the Orient. I brought a gift from me to you. A gift, my dear, is no good? What is this gift? A flower. Smell this flower. A flower? Oh, that's kind of you. Uh, what kind of flower is it? I don't know, of jasmine, I think. Oh, no, no. Oh, the scent of jasmine gives me headaches. I like the scent of roses. But this is jasmine that uh, smells like a rose. A new variety. 
<laughs> Do you believe him? I think my dear is no good as playing a joke on me. Let's see. Well, is it a rose or a jasmine? What are you speaking about, sir? Why is he calling me sir? I don't know what I'm doing in your home, sir, but I'm surely awaited elsewhere. Allow me to bid you farewell, sir. But why is he leaving? He was in the middle of writing my memoirs. <laughs> roses! He likes roses! I'm gonna stuff roses up his nose! Serve him right. Sir? Sir? I help you, sir? These roses. I want them delivered to the Sultan. Oh, a card won't be necessary. <laughs> this time, nothing can go wrong. He muffed it! He muffed it! Hurry! A delivery for the Sultan! <laughs> Perfect! Destiny is at work. I love my job. It smells so nice. Before, I used to deliver goat's cheese. Sir? 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 The Sultan should have received my flowers by now. You feel odd not recognizing me? He's gonna say, good day, sir, and I'll answer. My dear is no good. I'm ever so happy to see you. We have so many memories in common. But do you remember that Turkish delight ice cream we ate eight years, three months, and four days ago today? Hold on, most illustrious brightness. Didn't you receive my roses? Your roses? No. Well, anyway, it's very thoughtful of you is no good. But you know, I've already got a garden full of roses. <sighs> but, uh, where is he gone to? A garden full of roses! He's right! He often scrolls in his garden! I'll lure him over to these flowers! Yoo-hoo! of all virtues! How about a little stroll? Oh, Chosen Nose! Let's go and see these budding roses! Come, 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 and smell the delightful perfume it is of no your good. roses! Smell these, oh, most splendiferous magnificent! With pleasure! I love the scent of roses! <laughs> Here we go! This uh, is it! Ouch! Oh, my nose! A bee has stung my nose! Help! Help! A doctor! Ow! Sir? 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 Now that his nose is out of order, I've got to find something else. Mmm. <laughs> what a delicious smell. I wonder where it's coming from. Food! I've got it! That's the solution! <sighs> One always sniffs a dish before tasting it. This time it's a sure thing. I'm gonna be Sultan instead of the Sultan. What have you got under there? It's camel stew for the most delightful of all gourmets. It's his favorite dish. But now I must be on my way. I've got something on the stove. Very well. Perfect. <laughs> Time to serve dinner. What are you hanging around here for? You want to smell? No. Now why did he scoot away like that? Must do smells good. <laughs> what? You're having boiled eggs? Yes. I've been told my cook has vanished with the camel stew. Sir? 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 Yes, sir? I'm gonna give it one more try, but what? Why didn't I think of this earlier? Pretty Polly, pretty Polly, pretty Polly, pretty Polly. I'm gonna use you as a guinea pig. Pretty 
video. Video? It works! It works! I'll just burst into the Sultan's apartment and spray the whole atomizer in his face. Terrific. Oh, supreme ruler of the laws of equilibrium. Heavenly light! It's time to throw caution to the wind. My castle? Can't you see the window is open and that you've caused an awful draft? Oh, and now he's gone again. He must have forgotten what he came to tell me. Pretty who? Sir? Sir? <coughs> Sir? 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 Good. <laughs>